When it comes to ingredients, it's important to know what you're really getting. That's why with Red Apron, you get all of your ingredients straight from the source. With the click of a mouse, you can choose from our wide variety of nutritionist approved recipes made with sustainably sourced produce from local farms and delivered straight to your door. And as always, our farmers are committed to raising their stock free range and most importantly, cruelty free. Because that's your job. Unlike other meal subscription services, Red Apron provides you with the most authentic cooking experience with meat that is slaughtered and prepared the way you like it. No, 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 you gotta cut its head off. I don't I'm not gonna cut its head off. With a variety of recipes from pulled pork banh mi. Oh, God. to spicy seasoned stir-fry. <laughs> Red Apron has something for everyone. Oh my god! <laughs> Who would do this? Why? This is racist. Red Apron. How much can you stomach? Josh, you're a freaking douche, man. <laughs> I should be in the back. Stop. <laughs> Cashew milk? Aren't those the nuts that they have at like dive bars? I didn't know cashews had udders. <laughs> it's kind of like almond milk's lame cousin. <laughs> Why do you guys have me on here? I'm serious. <laughs> Make me watch a documentary about nut milk or something. Oh. Do I have to keep watching this? Drink the milk. Oh, this is so sad. What the f guys? I'm done. No. Oh no. No. Welcome back to another episode of Decor with Daisy. So today I have a very special guest with me. As many of you know, Garrett and I got married about two weeks ago. Just moved into our new apartment. And the only piece of furniture we have is this super ratchet love seat that he had in college. We've had some good times on this though. Stop. <laughs> So anyways, today we're gonna be putting together this futon from Target. It was super cute in the store and I think it's gonna be a great starter piece for our, our living room. Not as good as this old boy, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> this reminds me of our honeymoon. <laughs> Can you hand me the Allen wrench, please? I don't think you need that for step six. I skipped six, I'm on eight. Babe, you're tearing it out of order. It's fine, I know how to put together furniture, babe. <laughs> I know, it's just gonna be like confusing for the viewers. Babe, who even watches these things? No, like, 
uh, not your videos, like unboxings in general. Like, people just don't get on YouTube to search at futon unboxings, you know? <sighs> Babe? Wrench? Babe, can you please come help me? Why? Not, no one watch these videos anyways. Well, we still need to put it together so Brian can sleep on this tonight. Your sex offender cousin cannot sleep at our apartment. He's not a sex offender. That was an accident. Okay, so he just accidentally showed his penis at an RV? Yes, this happens sometimes! <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm going to my mom's because she's the only one that actually cares about me, and I... <laughs> Baby. I love you too, Daisy Cakes. <laughs> Come here. if I eat this. How would you not like this? <laughs> God, there's no video this time. That was weird. Did you no want feeding? Hmm. So what's what's your favorite? I didn't can do it. Uh, I didn't can okay. do it. Ah, you you oh, crazy! Yeah. Oh, you get me out. Get the fucking camera. Ah! Shut up, shit head.
Let's go. Where me and the boys and girls stay. Uh, I'm, I'm up here, and they take the uh, the bada bunk here. <laughs> so you can tell there's a lot of personality in this bunch. What? <laughs> no, no, you're not getting on the camera because I know what you're gonna say, Julius. That's very rude. That's very rude. Okay, it is a it is a character. So. Once, once the sock reaches my hand, it becomes another person, and I have no more control over that. Yo, mama's so big, she has suffered from obesity. Hope she don't die. Vernon Paraguam was a smash hit in comedy and poetry. He knew what the world needed before the world knew what they needed. Lisa, where's my dinner? Why is it my job to know? <laughs> because you're my wife! It sure doesn't seem like it. Does that roof over your head seem like it? At least the roof knows how to support something. Oh, now I'm competing with the roof? <laughs> Vernon always had a problem with substances. That led to his breakdown, which revealed the women, it revealed the horse tranquilizers, the lighter fluid. Put your camera up. Why don't you, why don't you suck it? What? I said, why don't you take your camera and just suck it? You didn't think that hurt me? You didn't think that would cut deep? Oh, oh dear, why'd you do to my eye? The women. Yeah, this is Officer Bork. The horse tranquilizers. Why you were eating all of the spaghetti? The lighter <laughs> fluid. He said to of move somewhere in the Midwest with his illegitimate son. No one's seen him since. He lost his voice. And I've, I've thought about getting back out there. I, um... You know, I'd love to perform again. You know, I know, um, I know, I, I may have offended a lot of people and hurt a lot of people, and that was never my intention. But you know, and, and I do believe in in redemption and in second chances. And um, you know, Daddy, that's you had, what, I had a nightmare again. Yeah, you you had a nightmare. Well, I'm in the middle of an interview, and you're interrupting. Do you understand the the hours that I put into this? No. You don't understand? I need you to go to your room and don't come out till I'm done. Get! Get! Hey, I love you. You know that. Yes, I do. I'm really not hungry. Can we not do any more food stuff? That's not a food thing. Oh. It's one of those uh, fidget thingies. Oh my god, my nieces are obsessed with these things. Oh, that was, I don't know, that was a thing. I feel like this would actually be like really good for me because I'm like so ADD all the time. What was that? Oh, that was close. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? Did someone just fart or something? What's going on? All right, tone it down with the gas, you guys. Guys, stop. Josh, go, go. I don't want to do this anymore, please. Stop. Piper? Where are you? I'm, I'm in here. You okay? What's happening? I don't know. <laughs>
Avenge me! Wow! <laughs> My parents were right. This isn't a real job. Somebody help us! Get out, both of you! Orin? Avenge this, you ghoulish bastard! Oh god, I think you made it stronger! It's that Russian horse! Quick! Hand me my katana! Catch! Go! Go, Orin! You can do it! Get him! Get him, Orin! Get him! Ah, oh, it's over. Lucky your souls. Cervantes, the evil blood lord who rules over space and time. But what if we don't satiate his desires? Then space time will collapse and the universe as we know it will cease to exist. Spare them. It is my soul you crave, Cervantes. But Orin. No, he won't be satiated until he devours a soul so we can have what's left of mine. Orin will perish a thousand deaths. Oh, no, please. Tell my wife. I'm innocent! Oh, no! I should have warned you if I died!